This is definitely not how my typical video goes, but uh, I posted on Instagram a video right here of my laptop making some very bad sounds. Turn it on. Listen to the fans. Yeah, it sounded like it was going to die the moment you turned it on to the moment you turned it off. So, uh, my laptop's being repaired. It's in Asus's hands right now, so I'm doing this video completely raw. Yay! Because I don't have a computer to edit with. Um, I'm going to say that I did uh, AT&T and Verizon. I compared the two extensively. Uh, AT&T and Verizon had about the same speeds, but AT&T always had the better like ping, like 60 versus 120. Um, in Walmart, when I was getting 3G, my wife's AT&T phone was getting 4G LTE, so I was not happy with Verizon, and I went with uh, AT&T. So I sent my iPhone back to Verizon, and I did pre order the iPhone on AT&T, but it said it'd be here like November 17th. And I was like, I'm not waiting over a month for a phone that I don't even want in the first place. So I went in the, in the, I just want it for the videos, for the views. And I, you know, I want, I want an Android. That's what I want. That's what I'm used to. That's what I've spent a lot of time and stuff on. So I got the LG G3. I was torn between this or the Moto X2, but... Uh, the Moto X2 was only 16 gigs, and this was 32, and I, and all my phones are 32 gigs. Every last one of them is 32 gigs. I can't do 16, so I went with a 32 gig LG G3. Now, I don't know if the bootloader's locked. I don't know anything about Root at the moment, so this is going to be like a, uh, a, a, a journey. Uh, I don't know if we can root this thing. I don't know if we can install ROMs. I don't know much about it, and if it is locked, and if I can't do anything with it, then... I might go back and get the Moto X2 instead of this, but we'll see. We'll see. Now I'm hoping that there's no like information that's like has anything identifiable on it. So <laughs> uh, here's some instruction booklets. This put that away. We don't need that. You get your charger, which uh, I don't think it's. Oh, it does say right here. It is. Uh, where's the output? 5 volts at 1.8 amps, it looks like. 1.8 amps. I, I'm always curious about that. And you have normal standard micro USB cable for charging. Got tons of those. And what's really, really nice is this battery. It's removable. So I can get some Anchor or Zero Lemon uh, Slim batteries. And on my Note 3, I just swap batteries out. When, whenever my battery on my phone's like 20%, I, I just swap it out with a brand new 100% charged battery. And I can do that with this one. So I really hope that I can root this thing and install ROMs and stuff on it. Because a removable battery is whoops. A removable battery is a big freaking deal. How many milliamp hours is that? 3,000. So it's a very light phone. Oh my goodness. You got AT&T's no texting and driving. So let's go ahead and pull that off if we can. Ha ha ha. There was a time when I used to not want to do this. I used to want to keep that on for as long as possible. But yeah. So I've been, people still ask me to this day about G3 videos. And I wanted to get the Moto X2. And I, I just, I felt like with the Nexus 6 being right around the corner. And that's a device that I'm definitely, I have the money for it. And I'm going to get it. So I'm like, oh, why? The Moto X2? I don't know. Okay, so this is. AT&T, you've got your SIM card and then your micro SD slot. So I do have a SD card that I'm going to throw in there, which is in here. It's a little, well, it's not little. I don't know if this phone will even support it, but it should. 128 gigs. So let's go ahead and put that in there as well. Put in the little slot there. Just slide it in, it looks like. Yep, there we go. 128 gigs plus 32 built in. Very nice. So let's go ahead and put that battery in there. 3,000 milliamp hours. Very nice. And power button looks like it's right there. Let's hold that in. And it looks like it's started up there. Cool. So we've got two, looks like two LED flash right there. Something right there. Um, looks like, oh, that's probably the laser sensor thing. I did watch the G3 announcement, but man, that was, that felt like forever ago. Uh, up and down, power, camera, AT&T logo, speaker on the back, which I really, really like my 
HTC One M8 with the front ones. But you know, I don't know. With the this one has a quad HD display, and I think it's got three gigs of RAM. So if we can install a ROM on this Cyanogen mod, we'll have freaking three gigs of RAM to ourselves, and I'm excited. I I really hope the bootloader's not locked. I don't know anything about LG and their bootloaders. So <laughs> if the bootloader is not unlockable, then I probably won't keep it. Just telling you that right now. If there's no unlocked, if you can't unlock it, I'll probably go get the Moto X2 since um, I know that can be unlocked. Because I, I, I won't, I mean, I'm not a uh, locked bootloader type of person. So this is kind of cool. I'm, I'm a sync calendar, not now, uh, ready to exit. I don't know what's going to pop up here, so I'm kind of taking it out of the way. Uh, let apps determine location, anonymous location, no, I don't want that one. Next, um, not code, set your not code, that's kind of weird. I don't know about that. <laughs> Looks like it's now getting 4G LTE, so my SIM card's whatever. Do I, t we, I mean, my wife's got AT&T, and on her OnePlus One, I'm doing speed tests, and she's always getting just as good. Sometimes Verizon will be a little bit faster, sometimes at and be a little bit faster, but she'd have like a 60 ping, and Verizon would have 120 ping, or in Walmart, it would drop down to 3G, and I'm like using my T-Mobile phone, because it's on LTE, and I just I was not impressed with Verizon at all. I felt like AT&T picked up better here, so that's why I went with AT&T. So, let's go ahead and drag this down and go to the settings here. And then, this is not kind of like the S5, but they got different categories. You could probably change that, switch to list view. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, now we're in the normal, what I'm used to. Nice, so you can change that. So, under about phone, um, and then software update status, hardware information, software information. You can see that it's on 442. There might be an update, but I'm not going to update it right away. I'm going to see if tile root will root it. In fact, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try that in this video since it's going to be, well, we're looking at seven minutes now. So we'll go to about phone and we'll go down to software information and then build number. We'll keep tapping on that. All right, now we're a developer. Let's go to developer options. Um, where did they hide that at? I don't know where that's at. Uh, software, hardware, battery. I don't know where they hid that at. Oh, developer options. Uh, okay. Enable USB debugging. Okay. Go down to security. And we'll allow for uh, unknown sources. And then we'll go to the browser here. And we'll go to towel root. Oh, popped up a number up there. No, oh, go away. Towel root. This is terrible. And I usually, uh, I'll start editing once I get my computer back from, from uh, ASUS. So hopefully that doesn't take long. Starting download. Let's go ahead and press on it. Then click install. Open. And make it rain. Thanks for using Tile Root. You should have root, no reboot required. Sweet. So we are rooted. We are freaking rooted. This is awesome. This is great. <laughs> we have root. <laughs> so I don't know about the locked bootloader. We'll get, we'll look into that. We're gonna. I'm gonna be playing with this while my computer is being repaired by ASUS. And when I get it back, we'll do a a review. You know, I might do a first impressions video, kind of like this one, where it's just talking and, and no editing or anything fancy. So. Yeah, obviously I can't say much about the phone at the moment because I just got it. Uh, I've never had an LG uh, Android phone before that I remember. So this is a first for me. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe for the LG G3. I have my Note 4 pre-ordered. Very excited about that. I have money for the Nexus 6 when that comes out, whatever price that might be. It'll probably be a little expensive because of the fact that it's got such beast specs in it, and they're not like like you know <laughs> skipping out on it. So we're gonna be getting the the Nexus 6, the uh, uh, Xperia Z3, the Note 4. Note 4 is already pre-ordered. It's coming in the mail in like a week, whenever it October 17th is, and yeah. So 
This is What Would Josh Do? I'm out. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram.